as we woke up that morning in the village of Tosh. These were the scenes that awaited us. Good morning, Pankaj and Captain. Good morning. Good morning. Meet Captain. Say hello. Hello, Captain. <laughs> to me, he's the mascot of the bunker house. What a sight. Gorgeous. The remnants of the bonfire told stories too. My songs take a whole new meaning for me when I'm out there on the road. And so with that late night with good reason everybody was still asleep. Everybody apart from Captain. Come, take a quick look at the room. Comfy bunk beds, clean and warm bedding. What more do you need? So the weather, unfortunately, is not playing sport today. It's completely rained out. Luckily for us, today is resting. gets particularly bad after Kasol. It gets even more fun after Manikaran. A broken tarmac and towards the end of the dirt tracks. Nice gradient and a lot of uh, heavy turns. So it was nice. The motorcycles go up to a point. That uh, point is a large area where you will most probably find some place or the other to park your bike. Not very confidence uh, inspiring because it's a public parking and you know, it's most of our super bikes bigger bikes, bikes are unusual, they attract uh, undue attention. But the important thing is you want to pack your luggage in a way. If you're coming here, you want to pack your motorcycle luggage in a way that you can carry it with you. Because, you know, I know, I know there's helmets, there's gloves, and backpack, and there's always some panniers, and then usually you put in some stuff, so yeah, you need to do that. Yes. Temperatures also dropping. Last I checked on the phone, it's 6 degrees. Did you find your best friends today? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, they mean there is a big spider there. I think I need like that big. There is one baby one here. It's really small. But he has a bite. This guy into 10 times the size. We walked down to a cafe for breakfast, but the guy there was having a bad music day. Just observe Pankaj and how he's bugging him. <laughs> the guy finally gave up and switched off the music. Much better to enjoy the mountains in peace. We decided to take a chance and walk up to Kutla a small settlement about an hour's walk up from Tosh. Interesting, no? It's a little tree house in there. I could imagine how the valley must have been before hash tourism took over. The vibe was peaceful and relaxed. Well, Mostly. Nope, this isn't me going Bollywood retro. The guy in the frame actually has a speaker tied to his backpack, blaring away. <laughs> and amazing it was. Holding onto big rocks and no soil, this big old Diodara tree. There were quaint waterfalls and stream side open cafes. The whole setup was amazing. The local livestock was camera friendly too. They were enjoying their day out grazing. Leftover snow patches reminded us that spring was a great time to be here as we were. Ah, 
I got a lot of friends, you know. Lunda. Yeah, yeah. The, the local. So she is Madhuri. I named her Madhuri. Yeah. She is Karin. She is Karina. Hi, Karina. And uh, she is Juhi. They are retired now. <laughs> So they are busy jumping. jumping. They don't watch their weight. Yeah, they need <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, they are not even waxing now. <laughs> yes, yes. Life here is still simple and basic, and firewood is still very much the lifeline. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a guitar. I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> this is holiday time. I do music for a living. <laughs> but this is Kutla. This is where we've been walking to. Look at those beautiful peaks back there. The views all around. This is about an hour's walk. It's a very pleasant walk. Very nice, easy. The weather had rewarded us for the trust and the sun shone as we took in the beauty of Kutla. But I couldn't understand why there was a settlement here to start with. And although he laughed it off, something told me that this man wasn't happy with today's generation or what they stood for. Something that we need to think about. On our way back from Kutla, we enjoyed beers by the stream. Ah, the joy is being in the mountains, sitting by the river and enjoying a beer with a friend. <laughs> Cheers, Bangaj. Cheers, yay! <laughs> and we raised our glasses to random fellow tourists as Pankaj broke into a song too. had a split personality. There was filth and there was beauty. The locals as always worked hard. They worked in the fields, carrying supplies, carrying firewood, cleaning up and managing their domain. The main tourist attraction here is hash. And unfortunately I feel the kind of tourists Tosh attracts and the collective energy that it emanates reflects that. It's pure as is rundown and lazy. And if Parvati Valley grows the best hash in the world and folks are buying it and enjoying it, then why isn't that affluence showing in the villages? Where is all that money going? Without doubt, there's a much bigger industry behind it that doesn't care about Tosh or about the villagers or about the Parvati Valley for that matter. It's just counting the cash and reeling in the pot-loving tourists while the rivers choke on the trash of the cheap guest houses that have no understanding or exposure on how to preserve the ecology and the beauty of this valley. Like so many things that we humans have destroyed, I do hope we can see our folly and begin to care for Mother Nature as it's always cared for us. Yeah.
ਲੈ